All right, I got my uh, Winchester all broken down. Just got it all oiled up and cleaned up. I'm gonna put the final grease on it when I put it together. Here, here's a comparison. This is the original stock that came on it. And I'm gonna swap it out with this stock here. It's a project I had a couple years ago. And I decided not to put it on. I left the old stock on because I like the old stock of the Springfield rifle I had. Well, I'm gonna put that one on. And as I say, there's no marks, no cartouches, no nothing on this thing. You can tell there's a big old scuff right there. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna strip this old one all the way down to the wood. And restain it, re everything it, and see what how see how it turns out. Like I say it looks like it's two different types of wood anyway. Well, so I'm gonna put that on and see how it turns out. All right, time to put the new stock on. Just quick wipe down because it did spray a lot of CLP on it. And some people just slide it up. Get latch in. There you go. Just slide this clip on. It has a little pin you got to drive in also. walking on me. This is flush. There you go. Got this farm piece on. Gas system on. Let's wipe down real quick. Put your gas plug on. Screws on first. Now you put the plug in. So I use a little gas wrench.
it's a little snug. It's fine if this is loose. It's fairly normal. Now, yeah, start putting stuff together. Slide the app rod in. I like to put a lot of oil, a lot of grease. Right below here, this is where the op rod, operational rod rides on. So I'll grease that up. Here's anywhere you can see metal's been rubbed. I'll put some right here. You can see right here on the op rod where it's looks like bare metal. Little bit in here, where this is where the bolt goes in. Right here, where it rides, that little channel. Give the up rod in. Operational rod. Grease these channels real good. Take that little brush, spread it all out. Back of the receiver, put a little bit of grease there. Back here, this is where the bolt rides up. You can tell it's See, wherever you see the metal, it looks like metal, metal been rubbing on metal. Put some grease on it. Durandas like to run greasy. I'm try to get on the other channel inside. I'm trying to just put some on my brush. Bolts, lock and bolt lugs go in. A little more grease. Same with the bolt. It rides in the op rod and the locking lugs. I'll try to stay away from the trigger and the firing pin. Right, try to get See where it's been rubbing. Let me see if I can slide this in. It was a little harder when it's greasy. Yeah. Got brought in. One thing I always want to check before we put the spring in is it drops freely. So that's good. Put a little extra oil on the spring.
Trigger, I always like to grease up right where the hammer catches. I've already sprayed this all down with uh, some CLP. A lot of times I release the hammer. Feel like where it catches. Do where the bolt slides on the hammer. If you're on top, and spring, little extra, doesn't hurt. Just get it off my brush. It's pretty good in oil. I'm just going to put a drop of oil. I always put a drop of oil where the moving parts are. Pretty much it for the trigger assembly. Move it up. Uh, let's see how it fits. Last time I'd use this, it was pretty tight. Well, it fits in pretty good. I had trouble with the trigger. Getting this locked down because this, this wood's pretty tight. Let's see how it works on this. down less. It turned out pretty nice. This is my old Winchester. It's in 1.6 million mark, which makes it a Win 13. On a new boy's stock. Now for this boy's stock, I think I use, actually I think I use linseed oil on this thing. A couple coats of linseed oil. And then um, I always put wax to seal it up. I think it turned out pretty nice. Another one of my safe queens. I'm gonna take them out maybe once a year and shoot them. I got, I got a couple grand, so that means I take them out a couple, take a grand out a couple times a year, and take it to the range. All right, thanks for watching.